All right, my homies. <clears throat> We're going to try out something new tonight. A game called The Medium. I don't know much about it. But it piqued my interest. It piqued my interest right up. My only concern is that I don't know if the audio is mixed very well. And that is one hell of a concern. Um, <clears throat> what have we got? Invert Y, of course. Uh, hold. Event auto completion. F off. I don't need no events completing for me. Hey, Wi-Fi. Show tooltips. Well, okay. Show hood. Surely you want to see a hood. Right? Why is that default to off? I'm going to trust the defaults. I'm going to trust the defaults. Uh... Yeah, that all looks fine. <clears throat> Ooh, advanced. Uh -huh. I don't know what Fidelity FX is. I'm going to trust, I'm going to trust that the game knows what my computer can handle. I feel like that's a reasonable stance to take. <clears throat> Uh-oh. The game must want to torture me. Maybe it does. Can't tell whether the audio is just really quiet, or whether it's meant to be quiet. Hey Dan, you're not here, you're only lurking. Is that not usually the case, Dan? Let's start, and then we can see what the audio is like, and I might have to balance it a little. A little? We'll see. This is literally the first time I've loaded it up, so... Could go either way. OBS is looking a bit low. But we'll see. <clears throat> Come on! Audio be okay. I don't want to have to mess with it. Maybe it's too loud. That was really not a helpful amount of audio for my test. It all starts with a dead girl. Uh-huh. Dead girl. Choppy frame rate. Always a good start. <clears throat> Maybe it's intentionally choppy? I hear choppy frame rates are really good for horror. Please be intentionally choppy. It's totally not going to be intentional. Oh, Agent 47 got her. Come on, frame rate. Please fix yourself. No. The kettle shouldn't have a choppy frame rate. Ever since I just started. You're going to watch my Icewind Dale a bit. Yeah, enjoy, man. Dream. There's no way this frame rate should be this low. Look, ray tracing, I'm turning you off. I turned you on even though the game suggested not. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. What can I get rid of without it having a massive effect? It should tell you that next to these. It should be like, look, you can change this, but. Okay, I'm gonna nuke anti aliasing a bit. Uh. Green space ambient occlusion. I quite like you. Green space reflections. I kind of like you. 
Light volumes propagation. I don't know what you mean, but you're already turned off. Um, shaders. Oh, I like shaders. Motion blur. I can turn off the motion blur. Lens flare. Look, lens flare, you go into medium. I'm sorry. I just don't care about lens flare that much. Motion blur is something that people usually don't like. I don't know how I feel about motion blur. I'm going to keep it on. Uh, what else can I nuke? Highest graphics. Rain. Rain. You don't understand just how bad the frame rate is. <clears throat> the frame rate has shit the bed. Um, blur and flare off. Look. I'll turn blur off. I'm happy with turning blur off. Blur? Mm, I don't know. You can't even turn it off. You can just make it low. Look, I'll put it to low. I'll put it to low. That's my compromise. There is no off. Come on, have fixed the FPS, please. By all that is holy. It's the end of summer. Way! A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. Is the audio too low? And the gunshot. That liquid looks really... It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. Mm. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. Mm. Scarred memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. <clears throat> Unless I get feedback on this audio, I'm going to assume it's okay. No wonder people used to think I was strange. People used to think I was strange. I can relate. If they only knew. <coughs> that day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day say goodbye to my father mm. to dress him up for his last journey put him in a suit fix his tie mm. just the things he did every day but looking through his stuff wasn't easy she found his porn collection Oh, Father, what have you been doing? I was almost ready. Ooh. I just find the tie clip. Special tie clip. Can do. Maybe. If I was a tie clip, where would I be? If I was a tie clip, where would I be? Ooh. Ooh. Some sort of a journal. Surgery on Friday the 5th of November. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Surgery. Didn't do anything on Halloween. <clears throat> Funeral from... 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Two hours? Didn't even put the wake in there. Uh, funeral at 12.30. Jeez, how many funerals does this guy go to? Funeral at 10 a.m. All this guy does is go to funerals. What a nut job. Okay, if I was a tie clip, where would I be? <clears throat> Come on, a button to highlight interactables. Who I would kill for a button to highlight interactables. 
<clears throat> I've had no feedback on the audio, so I'm assuming it's okay. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Do do do. Walking into the camera. I'm not following that cat. Can't trust a cat. There's one thing I've learned in life. You can't trust a cat. Yeah. I got the key. The fu Oh, right, it's funeral home. I guess he's performing the funerals. Or he stole the funeral home key because he loves the funerals that much. Maybe that's the case. Looks nourishing. Kochi... Iacochi. Sounds pretty good. Wait, I can take it. Hey, my own cat food. Kochi la Kochi. Oh, I love Kochi la Kochi. Delicious. Looks like pistachios. Is there anything else? No? Do 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 do. Man, I love games like this. It's all still here. Oh, Jack. She did find his collection of illicit photos. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Dip in. Multigrade for three seconds. Dip in stop for three seconds. Dip in fixer for three seconds. Nice. <clears throat> Can I put the cat food in there? No. Okay, we clearly need to find... Well, all we're looking for is a tie clip. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Nice, nice. I really do feel like the audio is low. But... No comment equals no change. Dip for five sec... Dip. I can do it now. Do I need to put it down here? Uh-huh. Uh... I feel like when she said I can do it now, she might have been lying. I missed my window. Now it's overexposed. All right, all right. All oh, right, illuminate photo for five seconds. <clears throat> <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Dip in. It doesn't tell me which is which, but I'm assuming it goes left to right. Oh, no. Sneaky bastards. It goes right to left. This game's throwing plot twists at us already. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Uh huh. One, two. Three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. It's awfully grainy. Almost too grainy? Is that like film grain over the entire screen? If it is, I might have to turn that shit off. Well, that was fun. We got a photo of our father. <clears throat> or some guy called Jack. 
Symbolic funeral of the Sears are mine. New best player. After yesterday's summary, Nicholas Belly is the best soccer player in the second sports league. New discovery. The holy hand grenade of Antioch was found in a cave of Tom Nadashan. Tragedy on rails. An 18-year-old student died during a tri driving test. Road difficulties. The reconstruction of the Iglomska Street has started because nobody wants to go there. Note. Hypertension kills silently like a ninja. Symptoms must not be something. What a nice newspaper. <clears throat> yeah. I was going to read that entire massive thing, but every man has his limits. Do 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 do. Ooh, 1984. Interesting. Can we read the whole book? Are there any secrets? Oh, I love a good secret. Secrets hidden in books. That's like a standard trope. No? Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't use the toilet. <clears throat> It's using one star rating. Uh, right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. What? No, just... Go in that room. Ah, uh, that'll be the exit. That'll be the exit. <clears throat> it clearly wants us to find this cat. Meow. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. This is your old room. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. It was the symmetry. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. You found the symmetry pleasing. Huh? Huh? Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. Ah, so she was That's adopted. Why I kept them back to play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Yeah, totally. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Did she murder all these kids? <clears throat> also, look at that kid to the left smile. Jesus Christ. Tone it down, kid. It's got a freaking demon smile. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, a note. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student but we're sure you realise that this behaviour is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Zofia Kania, Principal of Primary School, Number 7. <clears throat> Lucky Number 7. Hmm. Is that all there is in here? Fine, let's find the tie clip. As much as I love exploring, let's find the tie clip. Cat, have you got the tie clip? Am I gonna have to give you some cat food? Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. 
I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. Mm. He kept telling me I was special. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe you were. Hello, cat. You've clearly got the tie cut, right? Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Mm. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Tie clip. Tie clip. <clears throat> Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, tie clip. Jack, where'd you put it? The cat's okay. got it. Let's do this the other way. Press and hold LB to activate insight. Uh. Hey. She's got that 47 power. I feel like now I need to activate insight everywhere. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. No, that's not goodbye. it. Right? Come on, insight in your old bedroom. No. Shizer! Fine, let's go bury this corpse. Let's go bury a corpse. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Mmm. Mmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> my philosophy of always go the opposite way to which the game is hinting isn't panning out so far. Hmm. So far, her supernatural powers have consisted of finding a tie clip. Not the most braggable of claims. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Only Jack realized that I could find tie clips. <laughs> the last goodbye, funeral home. Nice. Ooh, there's someone outside. The last goodbye. Funeral home. The sign's so nice, they made it twice. <clears throat> Jack's in the prep room. Prepare Jack for his next journey. Oh, we're totally going to talk to Jack, right? What up, Jack? We know you're not really dead. Hmm. Hmm. That looks like uh, the White Tree of Gondor, right? Looks like their emblem. 
Ah, the good old Gondorian tree. Here it is. Yoink. Jack. Uh, Jack. Mrs. Something brought funeral something, 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 Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Aha! Adam Nowak. Novak? I think it's Novak. General information. Date of birth. The 2nd of the 5th, or the 5th of the 2nd. 1976. <clears throat> Name of mother, Hannah. Name of father, Stanislaw. Stanislav? Occupation, university student. <clears throat> Married. Date of death. 9th of the 10th, or the 10th of the 9th, 1999. Cause of death, car accident. Additional services, embalming, dressing body, and flowers. No hairdresser. <clears throat> Can't believe they skimped out on this kid's funeral. Frankly, disappointing. Look, I'm not paranoid, but I think there's a hidden door behind this. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Maybe not. There's three of them. My Resident Evil sense was tingling. But perhaps misguidedly so. Right, let's go to the prep room. I'm really delaying seeing Jack. Damn, it's down in a freaky ass basement. Oh, there was a lift. Oh, we could have not taken the stairs. Oh, Jack! Not sure if I'm ready for this. I know what you mean, lady. I kind of want to explore more as well. Hey, Jack. He looks like Agent 47. Said it before, I'll say it again. He looks like 47. <clears throat> before they gave 47 a baby face. F off, of course I use... Look, I'm not using... Chip, what did she say? I'm clearly missing something. A tie? Did I get a tie clip, but not a tie? Oh, imagine that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah! Ah-ha-ha! -ha. Combine tie with clip. That seems excessive, but okay. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. This lady's very melodramatic. I mean, I guess her foster father is dead, but still. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it burns you from the inside out. Mm. There. <clears throat> I guess 
Yes, you're ready. 47 would never be caught dead in that tie. Was that really worth it? All that effort? Just to put a tie on a dead man? Maybe I just don't have the emotional connection she does. Oh, can't you people read? The signs it's closed. Uh oh. Can't you demons read? The sign said closed. <clears throat> I instinctively want to find like a crouch button, but I'm assuming we're pretty safe. This is still the tutorial. I'm sure we're fine. Yeah, yeah, you can't scare me, game. Not until you <clears throat> add some sort of ability to fail. Then I might get scared. Let me in. What the hell? Oh, I bet it was that kid. <clears throat> The kid who they skimped out on the funeral. I bet he's come back. Why didn't you give me a haircut? That's what it's gonna be. Guess you felt it too, huh? Hey Zoltando! It's a medium and you wanted a large. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Yeah, I know, having to find a tie clip. It was a real pain in the ass. Ooh. Oh, where is that star notebook? I'm gonna be late. I want to find it. Jack? Mary Hannah, are you are you crying, my child? I Damn, her jacket looks sick in the other world. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... She looks way cooler in the spirit world. Ah, great. He's a creep. <laughs> you would cry if you saw that face. Yeah, man. Weird ass mask. Yeah, don't worry, we'll be fine. <clears throat> it's gonna be fine. I know, you know, I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. It's Altando. Fine. I promise. <laughs> How's the audio? Yeah, we'll be fine. You, on the other hand, eh, not so much. All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my. Audio child. seems fine. Good. Always. 
That's a bit creepy that he says he's loved her since the moment she walked into his life. Didn't he, like, adopt her when she was, like, <clears throat> a kid? Now, call me cynical, but I don't think if you adopt someone, you're going to love them from the instant you adopt them. Which means that he adopted her Most people because would be to have that he loved her. Which is kind of creepy. All the things that were left unsaid. <clears throat> But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. It might be harsh, but I feel like it's fair. It's a reasonable statement. Is it not? I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided, torn between two realities. Yeah, let's get drunk. But no, I was the only one. You have no idea you've never adopted someone. Yeah, that's, that's true. Neither have I. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Uh oh. If this is a joke. <clears throat> you need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm. No, uh -huh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life, but I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Hello, Please. Bonnie the Bunny. The Have I played dark. your game? It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Look, I don't know what that means. Hello? It all starts with a girl getting shot in the face. That's what the intro said. A Bloober Team production. Okay, we're making this dark game about, like, dead fathers and seeing ghosts and stuff. It's gonna be a really serious, like, creepy game. What should we call our company who's going to make it? It should probably have like some kind of tone that matches. What about Bloober? Yes, Bloober. That's perfect. <clears throat> it all starts with a dead girl is not the best way to get someone to trust you. It is because she said that at the beginning. But I'm aware you're working off limited information. She was saying she had these visions or something, and it all started with a dead girl. <laughs> oh, I see, Bonnie. You're talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. Very good. <laughs> the medium. But I wanted the hard. Thought I'd steal Zoltando's joke there. Mix it up a bit. Ooh, have we got a motorbike. That sounds like a motorbike. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Off I went. How long till the motorbike breaks? A, hunch. a call from a complete stranger. I'm giving it. But I'd learned to trust my instincts. Two minutes. There was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. 
Either way, you sure seem to know me. We're not getting to keep this motorbike. I can feel it in my bones. Oh, Rodek W. Poz or something. She looked so cooler in the spirit world. Her shoulder had those cool fins on it. Oh. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Yeah, no shit, it's falling apart. Hmm, there's something off about this dilapidated building. I can't quite make out what it is. Maybe there's a giant amount of crows on the roof. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of like a normal building, but there's something off about the place. Ooh, a map. A pointless, pointless map. Let's explore. Don't go where the game is clearly hinting at us to go. No, no, no! I don't want to climb in! No, I changed my mind! Ugh. That could have been a disaster. Okay, I will check in here. Anyone home? I guess not. <sighs> Clearly not. Niwa. <clears throat> Niwa says hello. You would love it there, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons, lots of families, and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. Nice. Hello? Thomas? What? It's just a broken down car. Chill out, lady. Unless I missed something. There's nobody there, right? Hello? Hmm. Maybe I did miss something. I'm not very observant. Okay, let's go in. She's gonna say, I can't open this gate. The front gate was locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <clears throat> Oh, I can't use my cool insight. Ugh. No way out. No way out. Well, that was <clears throat> smart. Gonna Wait, have what? To do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be ah. a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just stopped. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. Also, this totally counts as us losing our bike. <clears throat> There's no way we're getting outside again. Ooh, I can run. Awesome. 
Another map? Can I zoom in? No. That's fine. I don't feel any compelling need to run. Not yet. Oh, car. I wish there was a way to see if there was any interactables on something without rubbing my body against it. <clears throat> but that's the only way that seems to work. Hopefully we get a highlight interactables button. That'd be swell. Ooh. Ooh. Do 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 do. It does have a nice atmosphere. Some sort of an alien grave? I don't know why I leaped straight to aliens. It looked kind of like an egg. Oh, what a mess. People can be such bastards sometimes. You no know it. History keeps biting us in, the ass. in memory of the victims of World War II, of the daughters and sons of the land, here they rest, buried as they fell. To remind them that the whole earth, whole earth is their grave. <clears throat> Considering how many people died in World War Two, that's a pretty pathetic memorial. Let's be honest. What should we make our memorial for World War Two? I don't know. We could we could get a plaque and we could just put it on a rock in the forest. Yeah, sounds good. Should we clean the moss off the rock first? No, it's fine. Hey, exploiter! Go back. Nice. <laughs> what is this game? Um, weird. You're confused. That's okay, man. Admitting it is the oh. first step. Hello. Ooh. Ghostly footprints. I'll take them. Do 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 Do, 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 do. Following the ghost. If I was a ghost and I was used to pissing people off and then suddenly someone showed up who could see ghosts, I would not be happy. Like, hee hee hee, I'll throw a ball at this person and they'll never find me. And now we just make a beeline straight for the ghost. They'd be like, fuck man, what's going on? It'd confuse the shit out of them. They'd be more confused than exploiter is. What's this? T and K, nineteen sixty-eight. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Just vandalize a tree. It's no big deal. That's like a baby's hand.
Ooh, another one. This baby is the Lorax. It speaks for the trees. We'll ever do anything with that cat food we picked up. Probably not. Maybe there's a secret I missed that was to do with the cat food and the cat. Oh, I bet there was. I find it hard to believe that cat food is gonna assist us going forward. Something, something, unearthed remains. Renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Warning, due to the recently unearthed remains. Nice. Alien remains. Could be. Come on, alien remains. Uh oh, she's going crazy. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Hmm. I guess we are here to listen. Great, now I've got to keep track of two screens at once. Uh, looking for secrets. Go check out that glowing orb. But we have to prioritize not doing what the game wants us to do. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Yeah. Only fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. Easy does it. What's this demonic pedestal? As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. Yeah, that's fine. Just Dying steal the energy. Whispering the name of his beloved. Or maybe just <clears> glad <throat> to be done with this war. Sure, just steal that dying soldier's energy. What's the worst that could happen? I'll take it all. Ooh, look, our arm's glowing. Ah, oh, that's really sweet. I assume we use that energy on the thing that was further back. Hmm. 
Then I bet we lose our cool arm. God damn it. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? I feel like energy's energy is a very simplistic way of looking at the world. Eerie drawings. Someone new. Is that us? That totally is us. Great. Press and hold RT to charge a spirit blast. Focus on the material world. Dead. Like everything else. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Leroy Jenkins. Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marion. Well, that was These underwhelming. Powers of mine. As much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Mm. That is pretty cool. I wonder if we'll get trapped in the spirit world at some point. Like, we're trapped in the material plane. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. We've been, like, split across both. I assume at some point we'll be trapped in the spirit plane? Maybe for that we'd have to die. Caution, fire has it. Nice. Let's try crows. Hmm. Branching pathways in a tutorial? I've never heard of such a thing. Shh. Branching pathways within branching pathways within a tutorial? Oh, this is getting too crazy. Let's just assume we're going the wrong way. I don't know, that looks suspiciously like the right way. Let's go back. What's over here? Ah, now we're talking. Some random... What the hell? It's got a monkey. Good. <clears throat> I'm glad I came back so we could see that monkey. Now we need to go even further back. See if we can find another monkey. Oh, what happened to you? 
Aliens, I'm telling you, this game's all about aliens. Tries to throw you off. Maybe this wasn't a branching path. Aliens, I'm calling it. It's gonna be at least one alien in this game. <clears throat> Niwa. Shiza. It's a place where they I murdered place. a whole bunch of people. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. They murdered a bunch of people and they caused the spirit realm to go all out of whack. It's going to be something like that. Looking for loot. I sure would love a highlight interactables button. <clears throat> Much as I love exploring, and I do. I don't love having to ram my face into everything to see if it's interactable. Hey, this place is cool. Uh, Broad Horizons. Buran program. New Soviet spacecraft, soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones. The future of communication? Global eradication of smallpox. The greatest medical achievement of our times. Earth 2. Aliens! Earth 2, man! Aliens! I called it. I called it. Mm -hmm. See, it's always worth exploring. You might find a little magazine with a spaceship on it. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Yeah, what are you doing here? Bedroom, apparently. Yeah. Don't mind if I uh, pop your trunk? Honest work. <clears throat> My love. Summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills, and you know what that means. More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Reb... Rebowitz said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. F. <sighs> oh, F. I bet you did screw it up. Not much here. That's not true. There's a screwdriver. Although, this could come in handy. Oh yeah, you could take someone's eye out with that thing. Also, we lost our cat food from our inventory. Ow! Shit! What the hell? Great. Hey, car, are you haunted? Oh, look, it is haunted.
no one here. There is someone here. We saw it. The little ghostly footprints. <clears throat> There's a kid here. Same kid who threw the ball at us. Stab it in the eye with the screwdriver. I guess we need a ghost screwdriver. Ooh, can I read that? <coughs> Niwa Resort. Summary of 1969, summer of 1969, inauguration. The first secretary of the Polish United Workers' Party, Comrade Vladislav Gomulka, honored Krakow and took part in an official inauguration of the Niwa Resort. I guess it's Niva. Of the Niva Resort, the new center of the socialist joy and recreation. Working class of Lesser Poland, Smelly has a place to spend family time at the bosom of nature. The main building and the lodge, something, are comfortable, yet simple as simple are the socialistic spirit and philosophy. Special thanks to the architect, future manager, and a committed party member, Mr. Reykjavits, who, without whom, the Neva Resort would be impossible to design, construct, and build. 25th anniversary of establishing Polish People's Republic. The main building and the lodge... Area! That was the hidden word. Ooh, this game's challenging. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there might be something there. Ah, oh, she's spazzing out. Hello. Definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Time, Mr. Freeman? Even the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. Mm. Ooh. Looking for loot in all the wrong places. But we got some ghostly footprints. Shenanigans are afoot. This is going to be locked. Hello? Just break the glass. Anybody in there? Uh oh. Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Just break the glass. This building's made out of glass. I mean, clearly we go off to the right, right? Where that giant Tower of Doom was. Ooh, a butterfly. Ah, uh, she likes butterflies. Well, I've already proven my prowess as a dumpster climber. Very cool. I hope we didn't... Oh, we lost the screwdriver. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Are there any ghosts around? Any ghouls? Any goblins? Mm, no. Dumpster heist it is! Ooh. 
<clears throat> oh, I love a good game like this. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. Neva, it is Neva. You better be worth it. So she won't break a window, but she'll climb through a broken window. It's good to see she has some kind of standard. You got no need. You got no need to jump down there. <clears throat> Ooh, she got like scarring on her face. Let me see your face. Have you got scarring? Come here. she does you know just a little bit nothing too bad I think she does have a little bit Ooh, a free shoe It was at that point we picked up and left. So it's true. The Neva massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. No, you could just skip to part two. You could just get the hell out of here. You don't need to find this Thomas guy. It's clearly a setup. He didn't even meet you at the entrance. Mmm. <clears throat> mmm. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? We're never gonna find Thomas. Thomas is a myth. The Duckling. Polish legends of the dragon of Varvel Hill. Why do my teeth fall out? Page seven. Back to school. Page 9. Puzzles and crosswords. Page 10. And much more. But what is on page 8? Uh huh. Uh huh. Little Red Riding Hood's Theatre Cutout. This month. We have an amazing cutout for you, referencing, referring to the fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood. In the cutout, there is a scene in which a Little Red Riding Hood is visible that runs away from the mouth of a big bad wolf. Have fun. I will. <clears throat> Hotel Neva Plan. Main floor. You are here. Ooh, they've got a sauna. Very cool. <clears throat> London, spelt with a Y. Warsaw. Spelt with a Z. Panstwau Blurro Vika V. Moskva. Ooh, a radio. 
No? Okay. Okay. I can take a hint game. Let's head over to the noise. Ooh. Sinners be damned. <clears throat> To Baim, Tony Heddick, I am Cat, and I liking my tabs. Where is Mike Einstein? The something bridge something work sex where is mike enslin <clears throat> Someone arrived but never left. Zekizo Boris never left. Room 2H. Interesting. Interesting. Vivienne, the star of the Bolshoi Theatre. The Neva Workers Resort. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I like these. <clears throat> they have heart. My dearest, I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new Chief of Staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever. F. Maybe it's a T, not an F. I think it's an F. Maybe it's an R. Maybe one day we'll find out that guy's name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kind of want to look at that picture. Quality time by the lake. Nice. Someone left behind a perfectly good bicycle. Oh, don't walk past the bicycle. Aha, a clue. Oh no. I can clearly fit through these bars. With a little bit of effort. Hello? Thomas? Easy, Mary. She could totally fit through those bars. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Hmm. Sure, let's answer the bell. Thomas? No, it's just that ghost brat again. Nice. Marianne. 
desk. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Something happened to them? Mm, uh, 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 I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been. She killed them all. Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. That, I can take care of myself. Hey. I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. Well, would you play with me? Just for a little while. Uh-oh. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, I Mary Ann! for a man. He was an evil man. Oh yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry. Oh, wait. I can't go that way. Damn. I need to get up there somehow. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Through there, clearly. But I can't get through there yet. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got the demon world now. There must be something new. Something different in the demon world. a demon world. Where would I hide something? Shh. Under the stairs? I never looked here. Travel in style. Travel in comfort. Spring! News information and practical advice for curious ladies. Hen sewing techniques for fashionable shirts. Skirts. The Forefathers Wells. A new literary bestseller by Joanna Schmielewska. Readers ask. Experts respond. <clears throat>
A random blindfolded kid. No wait, that's like a sticker mark. Fair enough. Hmm. We're looking for something. The elevators. Hey. An elevator. Might as well see if it works. Well, this bodes well. Sure, what could go wrong? Not gonna let us go to the second floor, let's go to the first. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and press and hold B for an out of body experience. Ah, nice. There, a fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. Very cool. Out of body experience. Gotta move fast. <clears throat> Gotta move fast. Why? Why do we have to move An fast? Out of body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Oh, okay. Very cool. Oh shit, we're starting to dissolve. We're going to dissolve. <gasps> Can I do that again? Nice. Leroy Jenkins. Very cool. Almost too cool? You are here. Ooh, an exercise room. Exercise room should be over this gap. Hmm. <clears throat> Giant Mouth. The art of internationally acclaimed painter Richard Tarkovsky. For the first time in the Neva Resort. Nice. <clears throat> I'm debating gimping the graphics a bit more. Frame rate struggles a little bit when we got the old double screen up. Can I do an... We can do an out-of-body experience. Can I do an in-of-body experience? No? Can we go back downstairs? Can we keep going up? Nice. 
Nice, nice. Okay. Now where did she go? Is there anything that I can gimp ever so slightly? <clears throat> I could slightly gimp SSAO. Maybe that helps. Does it make it look more whack? I actually can't tell a difference. I literally can't can't tell any difference with that turned on or off. But then I don't have the best memory for visuals. Sorry, you're going off. <clears throat> I like screen space reflections. Screen space scattering quality. You're going to low. Does that help? Again, I can't really tell the difference. Well, we'll see if it helps out the old frame rate. Hey Jeremy, <clears throat> what game and what's the goal? Um, the game is well, kind of this 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 lady who can like live in both worlds, the spirit world and the normal world, and we're in <clears throat> Soviet era Poland, I think. And the goal is, currently, to find some guy called Thomas. Okay. Not getting through here. Well, actually, the current goal, if we're talking current goals, the current goal is to find this one-armed kid who wants to play with us. But she says she knows where Thomas is, so... Oh, we're like Neo from the Holy Matrix. Shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Nice. Can we go through any of these doors? No. <clears throat> out of body. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. So we can't go through here, but if we out of body... Then we totally can. Is there any reason to? Some sort of demon key. An odd key. Cool. I'll take a demon key. If you stay in this out of body experience for too long, look. I'll, I'll make a stand here for a sec. <clears throat> she starts to dissolve. Pretty rad. See that? She's starting to disintegrate. It's very cool. Let's go back. Now, can we use that demon key? Uh, we had a door actually, didn't we? A demon door? Somewhere? I think we had a demon door. Hmm. Ah, gross. It looks like flesh. It does look like flesh. Is that skin? Okay, we can't get through there yet. 
There was a door somewhere that was locked, demon style. Can't remember where it was. <clears throat> Jeremy says, is that what's coming off her? I believe I'm behind again due to crappy hotel internet. Yes. Aha! Demon key. Nice. see much. Just a hole. Hmm. What about in this room? We need something to get through that flesh. Something to get through the flesh. Ah. We can get nice little voice clips. Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You'll get what you want. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Maybe it's Jack. Oh, I bet Jack was involved. Oh, Jack! Jack! No, wait. Never mind. The postcards were signed with an F, not a J. <clears throat> Jack is our foster father, and he died. Looks like the only way. Great. He died, and he was obsessed with his notebook. What was that? Hmm. Hmm. She's definitely got scarring on that cheek. I know you can't really see it, but she does. Her teeth could get past the flesh. <laughs> it feels cold. Memories of grief, loneliness. Memories of ice. Okay, we need some flowers to put in that vase, I assume. <clears throat> Is it a vase or a vase? A vase or a vase? Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Uh, what? Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky, you shouldn't have. Please, it's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Mr. Tarkovsky, that is government flower. Ah, sunflower weary of time. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky. Please. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Hippophazine. Buciperone. Ursula Rotkowski. Diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition. Treated with electroshock. Refill six times. That guy didn't take the sexual harassment video. <laughs> yeah. 
Age 41. Weight 53 kilograms. Damn. That is light. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm going to need more energy to get through. Yeah, that's fine. We'll find some energy. Ooh. Crying nurse. <clears throat> Sad nursey. Need more energy, huh? Mm. That kid said she wanted to play a game. Ah, I bet there's a flower out here. Come on, flower. I can feel it. I know that guy had a flower, but I don't think a ghost flower is going to cut it. Ooh. This is falling apart. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Dee 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 dee. Oh, God. I hate this. Doo 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 doo. Very cool, this whole split world thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, ghost flower. Um, Baffle of blood. Nice, nice. Jesus Christ. Not ten minutes ago, she was like, Haha, don't worry, I can take care of myself. Turn off that grain. There's like a grain. Really annoying. And I bet you guys don't even see it. I guess I can't turn it off. Thanks, game. Much appreciated. <clears throat> Jeremy says, is one side future and the other side past, or one living and the other spirit? Uh, one living, the other spirit. Which side are you playing as a present? Uh, both. But yeah, it's uh, the ghost world. Come at me, Ursula. Chop, 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 chop. <clears throat> yeah, that was disturbingly satisfying. It was quite satisfying. She's not wrong. Now we should be able to do the uh, the image thing. Memory thing. See if this guy's got a sexual harassment suit as well. Ooh. You. <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. 
You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. Aliens. Else, I was too afraid that a part of oh. me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. Aliens. Said it before and I'll say it again. Aliens. It's only a matter of time until the aliens show up. This could be useful. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. <clears throat> nice. Do -do -do, do -do -do. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? She didn't get the sexual harassment video either. It breathes, it says. You are not... Patrick. Thanks. I didn't think I was Patrick. <clears throat> Don't we need some demon energy? The spark's too weak to absorb. No way. Like it's missing something. Oh, the flower. Hey, Meavid, what even is this game? Like a... What even is this game? It's an adventure game. I know it's not an RPG, but don't hold that against me. Jamie says, no, she didn't. I just had to watch that stupid video the other day. That's an hour of my life I'll never get back. We have to watch it every year. I don't think I've ever watched a sexual harassment video. I guess I'm just trusted. Or deemed hopeless. Sad thing is, you only work with men. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> right, now we should be able to cut through that weird wall of flesh. Ooh. Mm. A wall of flesh. Do, 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 do. She's really not willing to break windows. Aha! Uh -huh. And the wall of flesh is here. <clears throat> the system works. Easy does it.
Easy. Easy. Yeah. Oh, not more bats. Thought I did cut it with the not eraser. There's more than one. Uh oh. No, no, no. <clears throat> Tip, the moths of the spirit world are dangerous. I died. I didn't think you could die in this game. Am I really all the way back here? Ah! What? Ah, you can run through it, awesome. Save some energy. Whew. This wasn't open last time, right? Am I tripping? I think I am tripping. I think this was open. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Right, this time I'll run through. <clears throat> no hesitation, no surrender. At least I get to cut this wall of flesh again. Is that skin? You just chop, chop, chop. Hi, it's Vince with Slap Chop. You're gonna be in a great mood all day. Cause you'll be slapping your troubles away with a slap chop. Slapping your troubles away with a slap chop. Right, this time we'll run through. Yes. Can you save? Um, no. You can load, but you can't save. Adds a little bit of a scariness. I appreciate that. Ob. Observer. Reclaiming history. History of the Fens. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the ruins of Fort Pulaski, once an impenetrable fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the sky but a spectacular display of fireworks that marked the grand opening of the Neva Workers' Resort. The event was attended by the leaders of the party, including the First Secretary, who had this to say during the gala. Let this site of Victoria's struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Liberated in January 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historical landmark is currently undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. The Neva Workers' Resort will welcome its first guests by the end of June. <clears throat> Except that they delayed renovations because they found a bunch of dead guys. 
So, uh, you know, something's up. Hmm. Old man. Is that our father? Oh, I bet that's our, I bet that's Jack. I bet that's Jack. Our father, who art in heaven. <clears throat> it's almost complete. The main building turned out better than expected. Now it's just a matter of finishing up the less obvious parts of the resort. God damn, this place is perfect. Remote, peaceful, hidden away from prying eyes. Talk about hiding in plain sight. Took some doing to convince them to let us uh, stay. Luckily, I can be quite persuasive when I need to. Oh yeah, I think I finally got it. I'll call it Neva. Hmm. Hidden away from prying eyes, huh? Interesting. Old <clears throat> invoices. Outdated documents? Wonder why someone put him out. Are you sure his name isn't Jank? He died. He died before the game even started. That's how eager they were to kill him off. What's this invoice say? It's quite hard to read. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, I already read that. Thomas Reykjavits. <clears throat> Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me! Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You probably don't want to piss this ghost off. Thomas Rekovich. Oh, right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? She's gonna have some Vietnam flashbacks, like Thomas Rekovich, sure. and then she's gonna spaz out. to report. Marianne! Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? That kid hasn't helped us one bit. <clears throat> Not one iota. It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish, fear, longing. Hmm. Loot, loot, loot. What the hell happened here? I don't know, but there's a camera, maybe, or a flashlight. It still works. Someone's been using it. Nice, and a key. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. Maybe it's a small door. My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. <laughs> to call me. 
Jeremy says, she's a little bitch. Old men all look the same. I'm not wrinkly. And you've got a beard. <clears throat> and... Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? <laughs> that is... That is salt. Someone jotted this down recently. <clears throat> to do. Three o'clock. Get up. Don't turn off that alarm clock. 3.15. Medication. 3.30. Double check the forest path. 4 o'clock. Get to the hotel, clear out the old papers. Five o'clock. Get on with the research. Develop photos if there's time. Seven o'clock. Double check the office. Books? Nine o'clock. Check up on L. L? L. We don't know anyone called L. Except that guy from Death Note. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh. Uh -huh. Secret switch. Uh, figures. There's got to be a way to power it up. I'm sure there is. Hotel Neva plan. The floor plan of the hotel. First floor plan of the hotel. Second to fifth floor plan of the hotel. Water pumps. Something was scrubbed out and replaced with day room. What was scrubbed out? 14. Uh, I don't know what was scrubbed out. They did a real good job of it. Oh, that's just those files. Okay, we're locked in here. Hmm. Some way to power it. We don't have any charge. Ooh. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. A key! <clears throat> there we go. That's as far as it goes. Ooh, look at that. If there wasn't a way to power it, it wouldn't be in the game. That's right. Hey, this is cool. There. Looks like a passage. A spirit well. I could absorb some of that energy. Very cool. Hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Okay, before we absorb that, can I do anything to this guy? I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this, but enough. Get it together. <laughs> Yoink. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, we need to see what else he says. <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Not yet, you know. Don't get your hopes up. Gotta check the wiring. I'd hate to get stuck in there. Oh, maybe he did get stuck in there. Shit. Thought I had it. 
this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? Yeah, super cool ghost powers. That's what you're missing. Feel something's wrong. It's coming. Uh oh. I think that was the last one. Yeah. Yoink. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Who knows, but it's pretty rad looking on this side. Got demon swirls. It's got moldy chairs. Let's Hadouken this. Hadouken! Let's see if it worked. <sighs> okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. <clears throat> Never get used to this. I'm sure you will. Don't be so melodramatic. Shit! Sadness? This isn't funny. Sadness? Keep it together, Marianne. Let's see what's in here. There should be photos. There should be. Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Oh, we learned to do this earlier. Five seconds, three seconds, three seconds. Oh, it's telling us again. Don't forget about the red light. Light, five seconds. Time in each tray, three seconds. I know. I know, game. You already taught me this. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. Three liquids, huh? That's one. Two more to go. So you want to be a photographer? This step is general preceded by a stop rinse and followed by a hypo wash to remove any trace of the fixer, which might cause staining and degradation of the image. At a 1 plus 4 dilution, RC papers should be fixed for 1 to 2 minutes. Fiber based prints should be fixed for 1 to 2 minutes. But we got told to do it in 3 seconds. What do we trust? The game? Or the container? Of the container that actually contains the stuff. You have to believe that the instructions on the back of the bottle would be accurate. One to two minutes. <clears throat> but clearly we have to do it in three seconds. Thanks a lot, game. You made me doubt you. You ruined my immersion. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol. Like a gust of wind moving a curtain. It's getting stronger. I can feel it seeping through. Creeping into my mind. It wants out. It cannot get out. I won't let it. Even if it means... No, I'll find another way. Nice. <clears throat> Surprise.
Suppressing, huh? <clears throat> I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Suppressing the supernatural. No blurb on the back. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh. Multigrade. Your first step to photo development. Okay, multigrade. Multigrade is a liquid developer which is concentrated and is suitable for all black and white papers. It can be used at standard dilution of 1 plus 9 or 1 plus 14 for greater development something and economy. Greater development control and economy. Okay, okay. At least this one doesn't say one to two minutes. <clears throat> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. Malev's Maleficarum. Malleus Maleficarum. Hammer of Witches. <coughs> this should come in handy. Yeah, I always wanted a metal tray. Um, we're missing one fluid bottle. Ah, it's there. Nope. <coughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's all of them. Fotex fixer. Third time's the charm. Something something hardening. Something supplied as a liquid concentrate that is diluted with water for work for use. It is easy and convenient to use in the temperature range of sixteen to forty degrees C. For fixing black and white film and paper in all manual and machine processing applications. <clears throat> uh, all unopened bottles of fixer concentrate stored in cool conditions, 5 to 20 degrees, will something for two years. Keep will keep for two years. Once opened, use completely within six months, and keep all bottles tightly sealed until used. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Like there's a train missing. Yeah, I know, I know. Right. Let's put in... Shit, which, which is the first one? Is it stop, multigrade, or fixer? Very important. Fixer is third, multigrade is first. Multigrade, Fotec, no. Multigrade, stop, fixer. Multigrade. Stop. Fixer. <clears throat> Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. This is going to be a photo of Jack and it's going to blow our minds. One, two, three. It's going to be a photo of us and it's going to blow our minds twice. <clears throat> One, two, three. Photo of us? Photo of us? Photo of us! Yes! <clears throat> I've got the shining. Who's there? <clears throat> Alien. What 
She's definitely got a scar on her cheek. Demon. <clears throat> Is this demon scared? Hello? Are you alright? Jeez, chill out, demon. I just wanted to develop a photo. <clears throat> Sonic Boom! It was really unfair. Shiza! <clears throat> Rain says, I'm scared, mummy. That was really unfair. It gave me control back without me expecting it. <clears throat> and then killed me in like one second. Wait, don't go! I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. Make it. <clears throat> Let me try you on. Oh God, no! 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 Oh, death by bat. How far into the game am I? How many hours do I think the game is? Do you think I'll finish in one stream, or do I think a few streams? I have no answer to that. Let me try you on. No. Oh. It really does all end with this guy. This guy's brutal. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm gonna get him this time. I can feel it in my bones. Don't go. Don't leave me here. Alone. Make it. Uh. Let me try you on. Oh, God. No. Don't worry. Just stop. See? I told you, we're totally fine. <clears throat> Sort off bats, I mean moths. It all ends in me. Ooh. Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. Jeremy says, if it's in your bones, we know it's gonna work out. <clears throat> and it did. Maybe I pushed my luck. Oh. Please don't make me do it again.
I wanted to explore for secrets. Don't make me do it again. My love of secrets has ruined me. No! <clears throat> Let me try you on! Oh, good. Phew! Sonic Boom! No, there's too many bats. Hmm. <clears throat> it's interesting that we're exclusively in the spirit world. Does that imply we're dead? Ah, oh, sneak mechanics! Now we're talking! I love a good sneak mechanic. Where is she? What? Why? Why? Easy does it. Can I sprint while sneaking? No. Boom! <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you're not gonna see me. Just go away. Hey, my shield! Sonic Boom! Run! <clears throat> F that noise! Nice! Nice! Yeah, who's the boss now? was a demon. Maybe it was Thomas. Maybe Thomas is a demon? <clears throat> Whoever he was, he wanted to wear us as a skin suit. Which is a bit rude. Uh oh, a moth. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. 
End of the tutorial? That's the line she said at the beginning. <clears throat> Flashback? I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, <laughs> I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. <laughs> but that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. So what happened? I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Oh, I see. You didn't care what Sadness's real name was, huh? All you cared about was the demon and Thomas. <clears throat> if you were clinging to a wall, right, and you had a giant drop, if you let go, and some bats flew past I woke you, up with icy water in my would you let go of the wall? I feel like I wouldn't. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. I feel like my instinct of holding on to the wall I I would couldn't. overcome my instinct of there's a bat near my anything. face. You know? And besides, sadness needed my help. Huh? <clears throat> but maybe I would let Is go. someone there? And accept falling to my potential demise. Just to get a bat away from my face. I know it's not a bat, it's a moth. But a bat makes more sense. <clears throat> Merry and happy. You are. Okay. Oh, she's that talking is... to us. Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? <clears throat> Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Ooh, the day room. Day room? It didn't used to be a day room. It used to be something else, and they cross it out and put day room. Are you trying to show me the way? Do you know the way? There is no Richard. Where is Mike Enslin? Now there's a question that I hope gets answered by the end of the game. Where is Mike Enslin? Right, the day room was on floor... One? The day room. The safest place for the youngest. <clears throat> Something tells me that's not true. We don't have the spirit world anymore, so we can go up the stairs. No, wait. We don't have the spirit world, so we can't go up the stairs. Jeremy says, what's more powerful, your reflexes or your instincts? I feel it's a reflex to protect your face. <clears throat> um, but it might also be a reflex to cling even harder to the wall, right? That's kind of what I feel. I feel like I'd reflexively grip the wall tighter, as opposed to let go of it and plummet to my potential demise. But maybe I would. Maybe I would. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess until you've been in that situation, you'd never know. 
Right, we don't have the key for this. Hmm. We do have a map somewhere. I feel like at this point, I'd be like, you know what? I don't care about finding Thomas that much. I'm leaving. Day room, number seven. <clears throat> so it's... Okay, okay. You got the stairs going up. Is there a UR here? Yeah, okay. So we want to go across. Right? And then it should be through there. Aha! Maps. They just work. Okay. What now? Marianne is helping us. No, wait, we're Marianne. Sadness is helping us. Family time. Holidays in the country. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I thought I saw one of those glimmers. Mm. First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. Yeah. At least sadness was still with me. In yeah. At least that creepy one armed girl. Jeremy says, sometimes you can't control your reflexes, it's just your muscle memory to protect yourself. Is holding on really a reflex? It could be. <clears throat> it probably depends how scared you are of bats slash moths, I guess. I think holding on could be a reflex, like reflexively clinging harder onto it. Like if you were climbing a mountain and a strong wind came, I think you would reflexively grab the rock tighter. <clears throat> and I feel like bats or moths are just a really strong wind. It probably comes down to personal mindset. <clears throat> nice, nice. Is that? Oh god, it's everywhere. It's not everywhere. Here. Don't exaggerate. It's in a very specific area. If it was everywhere, it would be here. And it would be on the floor. And it would be here. I mean, that is quite a lot. I'll admit that. It's quite nice not having the demon world for a bit. Let's me focus on the material world. I wonder what was up with that giant um, symbol in the floor where the guy was like, it's taking control. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
Melikja. <clears throat> Does that mean danger? Maybe. Uh. Melikja. Jeremy says, if you fall, it's a reflex to put your hands out to catch yourself. You do it without thinking. The bat came out of nowhere and surprised you. I can see your reflexes kicking in without thinking. Yeah, I can also see it. Kind of. It's not implausible. I'm just not sure how plausible it is. But it's not implausible. It could happen. <clears throat> hmm, two choices. Push this, go through the hole. Push this. Well, that was worth it. Maybe there's something here in the spirit world. Maybe we're missing, like, maybe we're going to unlock the ability to switch into the spirit world at will. That'd be nice. Is this like a furnace? Oh, this is the sauna! I assume. Very cool. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ah. Uh, definitely didn't need to feel that. Yeah, it is interesting, Jeremy. Exactly. And that was kind of my point in bringing it up. It could go either way. Do 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 do. This game's cool. The one thing I've seen about this game, <clears throat> people saying online. I didn't look into it too much, but people said the beginning is really slow, and then it gets really good. <clears throat> we'll see how true that is. We're still kind of in tutorial mode. I think. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? <clears throat> Once Neva shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you keep writing. I know you never sent a single one. Families doing good. M. Broken Cal. I'll probably go home this next spring, somewhere at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in a snowdrift. Guess it's the least I can do. Good old Frank. Too scared to live, too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty using you like this, but then I remember I need all the help I can get. I think Frank's the guy who was sending the postcards earlier. Like, ooh, I got promoted! And that kind of stuff. Clearly, he didn't know when to let it go. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Hmm? Locked. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> hey, Marianne. You look like shit. Jump scare? I bet we're in the demon world and we look at this mirror, something weird happens. I can feel it in my bones. And my bones are on a pretty good track record tonight. Apart from the aliens thing. But there's still time. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. I believe you could reach those. Just like... Climb up that metal tubing. It does look a bit unsafe. Okay. Locked. Smash the window! We know this glass can be broken. We got into this building by climbing through a broken window. Aha! You. Ah, shit! Follow the spirit trail. Well, that's my seven years of bad luck. No, it's my. Oh shit! Look, there's a demon. See that demon in the background? Jeremy says it's been said your instinct to live outweighs most everything else. Your muscle memory reflexes are built to protect you. So it comes to what's stronger, your conscious or your unconscious. Yeah. <clears throat> also, surely it's Sadness who has seven years of bad luck. She broke it. There was a demon in that mirror. I saw it in the background. <laughs> no, I'm not climbing down there. <clears throat> Sadness is going to be the main demon. Quite possibly. <clears throat> I can believe it, for sure. Clearly, sadness. Come on, hurry. Mm. What? No, it's fine. I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, no. Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Oh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, <coughs> don't talk about her like that. Shut up, Bernard. 
she's gonna have had the same powers that we do. She's talking to herself. Definitely. <clears throat> Well, not definitely, but probably. Wait, wait. Uh huh, uh huh. I do like getting a little bit of lore. I'm happy to get story stuff. Like how sadness is like, I'll help you. And uh <clears throat> she's just been leading us on random trails. She's never once actually helped us. Jeremy says, it looks too much as you have to save sadness. But it's a big MacGuffin, just to be the main boss fight at the end. But I could be wrong, that's just how it feels so far. Definitely could be. Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Uh, definitely didn't <clears throat> need to feel that. At the start of the game, the lady said, it all began with a girl dying or something. It all began with a girl's death. And she got shot in the face. And I'm pretty sure the guy who shot her in the face, I can't say this for sure. But I think it was Jack, our foster father, who looked like Agent 47. I think it was. But it might not have been. But anyway, it, 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 the whole thing was it all began when a girl died. You want to show me something? I'm pretty sure Agent 47, Jack. Our foster father was involved in this place. <clears throat> it looked back at me. Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Uh, I don't know. Why does that sound familiar? Snowdrop, snowdrop. Oh. Oh uh, look, the cat is the cat is black in the mirror. Very cool. Very, very cool. So what, do we need to show the cat to the mirror? Plausible. Closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could even tell more plausible more that figurine than just carved wood. Mm. Right, I'll be right back. Thank you. 
I am back, and I just want to say, Jeremy, you got that Blinded by the Light song stuck in my head. And I don't even know that song. Blinded by the Light. That's as far as it goes for me. So thanks a lot, Jeremy. I appreciate it. Let's go! Show the cat to the mirror, I assume. Show the cat to the mirror, so my country can be free. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Very cool. What the hell is this place? It's the other side. You know that. I... Oh, shit. The cat! It stayed on the other side. I'm really? stuck here. <clears throat> mm, so we need to find the black version, I assume? Hmm. <clears throat> Faces. Nice. Did we lose our razor blade? <laughs> nice. Thanks. There's something real satisfying about making these cuts. Let's not go through there yet. <clears throat> we don't have any power to protect against the bats. Oh, wait, one sec, one sec. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Hmm. Very cool. <clears throat> Oh, nice. So close, and yet so in a different reality. Hmm. Another that mirror. Green was the key. I can't pass through without it. Yeah. Spirit, well, if I could use some of that energy. Ooh. Burn you little fucks. Oh god, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh nice! It killed them all. I 
I didn't even know that was a thing. Hmm. Did that help? Is it the sound of the cut? It might be. It's it's really satisfying. It might just be the fact that you have to drag, you have to actually drag down to do the cut. And you have to bend it in the right direction. Something about it is just nice. Also, this room really didn't do much for me. I'm gonna get some more energy, just in case. There has to be something I can do in here. Right? There wouldn't just be an empty room, would there? Maybe I need to come back later with something? Hmm. How do we know that? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. His face. <clears throat> his face. How did we know that was Bernard? Maybe she's got spirit instincts. Ah, his face. <clears throat> this was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Put the face on, and the first thing I'll say will be, I'm not Bernard. Nice! <clears throat> Jamie says, I would load up both arms if that was me. Maybe even load up the legs with power too. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> load up everything. Maybe later we'll unlock more power down the other arm and stuff. That'd be sweet. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. I'm not Bernard! Nice. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it too. Uh oh. Jesus Christ! You know what? This game is getting freaky. So we can use that to teleport. That's pretty cool. Well, not teleport, but you know. Sort of teleport? No, 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 no. We're in the real world. No way.
Oh my god. What the fuck? How? I couldn't believe it. That thing could travel between worlds. There was no escaping it. I'm not amused. Here I was, having a light-hearted romp through a horror house. This is like in Resident Evil when the nemesis shows up. It's like, I don't want to deal with you, nemesis. <clears throat> it's the same in this. I don't want to deal with you, random creepy guy who wants to wear us as a skin. I was having fun. Jeremy's right on point. Can you get the bolt cutters now? Excellent question. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. Yeah, just uh, cut the bolt on this door. Brilliant. I firmly believe she could squeeze through that gap. I firmly believe it. I believe it with all my heart. She could definitely squeeze through that gap. Examination room. Just in case you can't read the word examination room in giant letters, you can press read and it'll tell you in much smaller letters what it says. <clears throat> Incredibly useful. Great. Another mirror. How can we get through that gate? We're going to have to ghost it. Locked. More of them. I was really enjoying this game until the demons showed up. I'll take a weird drawing, though, of a pair of trousers that have been scrubbed out. This game's got me paranoid. I was ridiculing it too much. It's decided to have its vengeance. <laughs> I know, Jeremy, I know. It's pretty ridiculous. What are you? God damn it. <sighs> now you know it's a waiting room. <laughs> totally. Ah, uh, the paranoia is setting in. I'm at this point where I don't really understand whether this game is just trolling us with that guy being in this world for story purposes, or if he's a constant threat like the Nemesis. And I really don't like not knowing that answer. Also, I seem to be stuck here. I don't see anything for us to do. Do I need to? Uh, do I need to um, send away a soul? I think I do. Uh, 
Ah. A drawing of... <clears throat> it's called Bad Nursy. Hmm. I assume one of these guys is missing their face, right? What has it done to you? They're missing their jaw. Oh my lord. Just like Bernard. And no names, no faces, no way to help them. Yeah, that's a real shame. All right, we know there's one of them up here. <clears throat> now all it's needed is the sound of little kids laughing to totally freak you out. Yeah, I know, right? Mask of a man. Okay. I still need his name. Ah, this is gonna be quite cool actually. This place. If this becomes like a detective game where you have to figure out people's names and get their faces, that would be really cool. As long as it's not all spoon fed to us like this initial part is, that could be really, really cool. I mean, I'm not best chuffed about the demon thing still. Some sort of a conference room. Examination room, perhaps. God damn it. Okay. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah. You know what they say. I'll let you know how it went. If you're early, you're on time. That's the guy. Which guy? Oh, the guy from the office. Maybe. Oh, we're back here. Oh, that's the guy whose face we need, right? Maybe. Voting's about to start. If you're early, you're on time. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Uh... Well, it's one of the ones who's present, right? The ones who are absent and then it's crossed out and it says present. It's definitely not them. Because he said... If you're early, you're on time. So there's no way he would have been marked as absent. <clears throat> yes, you missed the sign. Yeah. Seven. Right, okay. If you're early, you're on time. Maybe... Five... Maybe there's something like, if you're the first one to show up, you get to be the chairman. Like a rule like that. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Okay, okay. Late Boris. Uh, 
four, one, two, four, one, two. <clears throat> right. Late Boris. So that's Boris Zelago. Nine. Nine was down here, I think. Yeah, so it's eight. <clears throat> no, it's four. And four is... Nicholas Ovigarek. Nicholas Ovigarek. It's not cool what you're doing with these sound effects, game. Nicholas Ovigarek. Ovigarek. I hope it makes me pick the right name. Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. Oh, thank you, man. It should have made me pick the name. One to go. Better get to it. <clears throat> I don't appreciate it figuring that out for me. I could have had no idea and then come back here and it would have still said Nicholas. But I did figure it out. So that's pretty good. Nothing here. At least not in this world. Hmm. details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Hmm. There we go. Ooh, it's the key to the, uh, waiting room. <clears throat> Let us take you around the world. Ah, nice, another postcard. That's cool. Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. You would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining. The lake is beautiful. The people are nice. Nice and dead. All of them. What? Love F. Jesus. <clears throat> that letter took a turn. It does say nice and dead, right? Nice and dead. Well, I'll be damned. No wonder she didn't join him. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
I wish I could turn off this spirit helpers. <clears throat> Maybe I can. Can I turn them off? Interaction icons, you definitely want those. No, I have to live with them. Hopefully they tone it down as the game goes on. It's a bit much, it's literally guiding me everywhere I want to go. Okay, <clears throat> we need to go through the mirror. That's cool. Kind of. I'm starting to resent this demon world. <sighs> Watch out for moths. You always want to check further than where the game wants you to go. That's where secrets are hidden. <clears throat> God damn it. I hate this guy so much. Please go away. Uh oh. Sonic boom. <clears throat> Ah, no sonic boom. The guide is everywhere, so is it really guiding me? That's a very good point, Jeremy. That's a very good point. <sighs> Please don't take me really far back. Otherwise, I'm going to be really scared of that demon. I can't deal with that. I can accept that, though. <clears throat> Demon. Stop it. Go away. You weren't sure it was a guide, you thought it was dust. No, no, it's definitely a guide. It's a... Uh, it's the kid. It's 
the kid uh, showing us where to go. So if she is the enemy, at some point it'll stop doing it. I hate this demon. I hate him with all my heart and soul. At least he's predictable. <clears throat> he is predictable, right? At least he's predictable. God damn it, I hate that demon. He's gonna jump scare me. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the jump scare. I'm getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I can't believe such a comment was made. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Eugene Denisek. The impresario of stars. Or a guy being into a big trap. Yeah, maybe. That'd be great. Look. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. What a perv. Seems like everyone in this place is a perv. One way or another. Oh. I hope by the end we've got, like, a spirit minigun. And we can take on those demons. I really don't want to be scared of them for the entire game. Where's my spirit minigun? This is where it happened. <clears throat> of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. Thought her name was Vivian. Gotta be something. Maybe it wasn't Vivian. This lady is very pragmatic about who she saves. Like. She doesn't care about all these guys. <clears throat> it's only the ones who are blocking the path. He's like, you know what? I'll save your soul. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Ah, of course. What's her real name? Ellie and Tori. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Just guess. I free your soul, Ellie. No, that didn't work. I free your soul, Tori. Maybe you need to actually know the name. Ellie or Tori? I still don't know her real name. Words. Sounds without meaning. Hmm. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. <clears throat> Mum. Gregory Hayes. 
Vive Resort. Hmm. Page, huh? If I was a page, where would I be? I would be in that other guy's room. He would have stolen it. Almost certainly. one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. <clears throat> no comment. Uh, right. I think the page is in here somewhere. Oh, I don't want to go back to the demon. I think the page is not past the demon. I think it's somewhere in one of these rooms. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No, no. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. Yes, very good. Did I miss something in here? Another exit in the demon world. I don't think so. <clears throat> I got her mask in here. I don't think I'll find any more intel on her name. But then there was there was no intel in here either. Not that I could find. Page has been torn out. If I was a page, where would I be? Ah! Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Yeah. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Uh. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? So it's Tori. You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means... That you were Tori. Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Okay. More importantly... Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? You know what? Never mind. Thank you. Frank? Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. <coughs> Frank is the chief of staff, I think. Yes. 
Yes, mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Yeah. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. I feel like it'd probably work. Oh, hey, are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Hmm. Right. We have the name. I have to go back through that demon room. Or do I? Oh, yes. Oh, there is a god. <sighs> okay, watch out for bats. <clears throat> I think this is where we fell last time. Is it in here? Jamie says you'll need to get a notepad to keep all the different names to tr keep track. I think most of them we can throw away. <clears throat> like once we've sent these guys' souls away, do they really serve a purpose? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. No, this is the right way? Totally. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. See, she was so grateful. I think if we'd said, you can be free now, Victoria, I don't think she'd have been like, Ugh, don't call me Victoria. I think she'd have been like, thanks. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Rakowski is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkowski to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself, mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I'd swear it sounds like people talking. It really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Runs in the family, huh? We're an orphan, huh? <clears throat> it's all coming together. <clears throat> kind of. Maybe. Our father is Thomas. 
Ooh, bulkers. Yes. Yes. Fucking finally. I feel ya. I feel ya. Time to get back to the day room. All oh, right. Yeah. Enter the day room. Day room. Ah. Fighter of the night room. Ah. It's Champion of the sun. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That like. thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Ooh. Where it tasted death. Double And ooh. liked it. Triple ooh. Quadruple ooh. My poor, poor Mr. Tarkowski. Whatever happened to you? The test came back. No signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes. And I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you, no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of ventofuxine. That'll cheer you right up. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeremy says, it's like a game show. Name that ghost. Callum, I can name that ghost with two clues. Player two. Well, Callum, I can name that ghost with one clue. Okay, player two, here's your one clue. What's the ghost's name? <clears throat> That'd be quite good. I'd watch that. It'd be called something boring, like, name that ghost. Because game show hosts have no imagination. Or game show creators, I guess. A bit harsh on the hosts. The hosts are usually alright. <clears throat> right, we're going to the day room. Ah. Yeah. Achievement unlocked. Phantom. Ooh. All right, the day room was on the ground floor. And we know it didn't used to be a day room. Sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Yeah, I guess it does. Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Spy name it is. Hmm. I don't have the key for this door. Yeah. Go figure. Okay. <clears throat> That's cool. As long as that demon doesn't show up, everything is cool. Chop, chop, chop. Ooh, damn, that took five chops. Usually they take three. Day room. This way. Okay. I guess it literally meant through here. Let's 
could see what sadness wanted me to see. I yeah. Hope she's all right. I would have definitely left by now. <clears throat> as soon as that demon was like, I can get you in the real world, I would have been like, nope, tap out, 100%. The demon can get me in the real world. I'm out of here. There is literally nothing that would keep me here. But that's why I'm not the star of a video game. But still. <clears throat> I think any reasonable person would leave. I keep seeing it in my dreams. The other place. Dust and death, as far as the eye can see. Feeling of nothingness, tearing at my soul. I wake up choking. Feeling the dust burning through my lungs, I beg for it to stop. He says there's no helping it. Then again, he would say that, wouldn't he? Ooh. Nice. I think these notes are from our father. Leave all this free real estate. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. It is free real estate. You make a compelling case. But the demons, man. They've got to lower the property value. Free or not. Right, day room's this way. <clears throat> Demons that can get you in the ghost world? Fair enough. I can totally accept that. Demons that can get us in the real world, who are invisible, it's just a bit too much. I don't think you could make any money off the place. Although, you could, uh, you know, rent out to paranormal investigators. I guess that'd work. This lady's not making the best use of her talents. Wow. Game full on just... Teleported us there. <clears throat> we vanished for a sec. Oh no, don't be a demon. Please just be that little brat. Eyes are starting to go crazy. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame, from helplessness, from rage. Rage. It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I, I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Fighter of the Night Room. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he became like a puppet. He... Oh. I remember. Marianne. I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. 
Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still no. come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. Is that no, not ever again? Why did you bring me here? Uh oh. It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, we get to cut through some flesh. Ah, oh, I can't wait. I love this. Chop, chop, chop. Look for loot. A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Nice. You know, the spirit world used to be cool and like fiery and stuff, now it's poison. It's a, it's a cool transition, but it's a lot more creepy. Got me worried there's going to be poison demons. <clears throat> Ooh, Thomas! I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Memorized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave. The way he described them, with every minute detail, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something, or someone, had pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me, as his visions came alive on my canvas. <clears throat> Some would say I need the boy to find my waning creativity. My waning creativity. To fuel my waning creativity. But how could I not <clears throat> to let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. <clears throat> so Thomas was a kid who could see the spirit world. Thomas is our father. I firmly believe it. Thomas is our father. And I know for reading these I can hit read and it does it like that, but it ruins the immersion. I like trying to read the letters. <clears throat> Do 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 do. This game is cool, man. Is this missing something? No. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. Trapped in I'll the dream world? Him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. Trapped in the dream world. He's totally maybe trapped in the dream world. Hmm. 
I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had something that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Hmm. It's talking about Thomas again. I think Thomas did something to Richard. I can feel it in my bones. Hey, that's nice. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilia. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lillian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Mm. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing claiming that he was no painter, and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy, rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so, he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather sceptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness, the mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner depth demons. That's a story as old as time. Man meets man. They get along swell. They bond. They take advantage of each other's skill sets. Man meets woman. Woman steals him away. Sad. <clears throat> but maybe it's for the best. That guy did sound like a bit of a creep. This is just going back the way we came, right? Locked? Yeah, go figure. I can't bolt cut my way out of that one. And I can't use my cool shield because we don't have any energy. But we can go through here. Guilt, humili humiliation, and rage. That's what caused the demon. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye. The horror and splendour of worlds beyond our own. 
what started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. <clears throat> Very cool. And then he threw it all the way for a lady. And he's totally our father. looks incomplete as well. Okay, okay. And then when we complete that we'll get power and that will let us through the bats, I think. Something that would fit in a globe. Can't go through there, there's weird tendrils. I don't think we found anything that fit in a globe. Maybe we have to go back. If we go back, there's going to be a jump scare for sure. There's no doubt in my mind we're getting jump scared. <clears throat> just not gonna let us go back okay good no jump scare for us which means there's something in here that's globe-esque something that would go in the globe The rest of the sheet music. There's another piece. Hmm. Another piece. <clears throat> okay. Well, we got the first piece over here. We got the second piece over there. I'm assuming the third piece is also in this room? Seems like a safe bet. We're looking for a glimmer in the spirit world. It was this thing, but it was just the picture of the horse. Unless there's something else here. Ah, there might be. No. Maybe it's not in this room. I think I maybe saw it over here. No. Hmm. Ah. There's definitely something there. We need to be able to get through. Maybe...
Can I close that door again? No. So look, there's definitely something interactable here. I think it's on the other side. I don't think we can get to the other side without destroying it. Which means we need the last piece of sheet music. Which has to be in the other room. Zero doubt in my mind anymore. That it's somewhere in this room. If I was a piece of sheet music, where would I be? Shh, I'm not sure. <clears throat> we can't go through there because of the bats. I feel like I see it there. Look, on the other side of that table. But when I go through there... <clears throat> and I come around this way... The camera doesn't play ball to let me actually... get there. Which is a little bit rough, because I'm pretty sure it's there. I saw it. Look. You can see, like, an outline. You see that outline? Over where I'm shining the light in the material world. That is almost certainly it. I can't get through here because of these tendrils. I don't have any way to get past the Oh, maybe... No, we don't have any superpowers. Gather round, children. I want Gather round, children. Unless there's something in this hallway, but I massively doubt that. I doubt that beyond all belief. So much so that I'm not even going to check. However, I will be right back. I'm pretty sure it's there, but I'll be right back. I am back. In order to figure this out, <clears throat> I need to roll myself a smoke. Meanwhile, what are my thoughts on this game so far? 
I love it. It's mysterious. It's spooky. It's cool. Those three combined. I love a game where you theorise a lot about what the hell's going on. <clears throat> I love that. Any opportunity to say, I feel it in my bones. You just can't beat it. And this game has that in spades. I feel like maybe... Well, I definitely feel like the note, the last part of the note, is a... Uh, the music note is in that thing. Maybe... Maybe I'm not supposed to get the music note yet, because we need to put something in the spirit world, right? In the spirit world, we need to put something inside the globe. I'm not convinced that when we get the, the note, we'll be able to put it in the spirit world. So maybe there's something else in the spirit world we can find? I'm just not sure what that could be. But, we've only got a small area for exploring, so we can't go too wrong, really, if you think about it. Look, there's something over there. Is that just a reflection? Yeah, it's just a reflection. But that thing! See there? That thing. But I think that's the last piece of the note, and I think to get that we need to go in here. The one oh, I know what I can do! I'm so dumb. I totally forgot. Just beat up the ghost till they confess where the notes are. I totally forgot we can do the outer body experience. Oh, it slipped right through my mind. We'll find the item in here, for sure. Yeah, the equator. Outer body experience, saving the day. Oh, good. And then that will presumably give us energy. Maybe. Hmm. 
Can we go out there? Uh-huh. Oh, this game's so cool, man. It's like Soul Reaver. If Soul Reaver didn't have combat and was a little bit cooler. The spark's too weak to absorb. Yeah, we need the sheet music. <clears throat> Which is over here, right? No, that's the keys. Oh, interesting. me of my childhood. Or at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Hmm, maybe we're going to get to send sadness away. So it turns out that wasn't the note. Maybe this is? Oh, it's key. Uh -huh. Number seven. Day room. Ah, champion of the night room. No, wait. Fighter of the night room. Champion of the sun. You're a master of karate and friendship for everyone. Day room. Easy does it. <clears throat> nice. Oh, interesting. So the tentacles were the back of that flesh thing. That hasn't really helped me. I think I need to rotate the globe again. No, wait. <clears throat> it totally has helped me. We can unlock this door now. See what this looks like in the real world. <clears throat> Teacher's room. Pen. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. He's gonna refuse. He brought him here. Oh. Come on, Richard. You were ah. rich. I'm guessing. Stay with it for me. So. Hmm. Yeah. What did he mean by them? <clears throat> the ghosts. Yes. He was just lying there. He... Uh... Mr. Reckon. I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just... Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he... deserved it. Hmm... <clears throat> Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. 
In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he had found true happiness. True love. Strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. <clears throat> when the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us, I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. Interesting. Why would getting him what he wanted drive a wedge between you? That doesn't make sense. Something's up. <clears throat> Something is up. That should be all the pieces of the score now. Yes. Score. <clears throat> <clears throat> Put that in the piano. <coughs> and we should get um, the power from this light thing. I have the power. Nice. Now we can finally get past these bats. I mean, Moths. The moths who are afraid of light. Who would have thought such a thing possible? Uh oh. That was a scouting mission. Nice. <clears throat> Have a nice spirit shower. Mm -mm. Spirit goo. Good for what ails you. Wow, a cursive font when the paper has a unique texture anyway. Well done, Dev. Not lazy at all. Uh, cursive font when the paper has a unique texture anyway. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. <clears throat> they could have uh, handwritten it, right? as part of the unique texture. That's fine. I can appreciate a little bit of laziness in games. Ooh, is this one of his paintings? are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. 
Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. No shit. Grief, sorrow, and something else. Rage. Pedophilia. Something. <clears throat> I was finished. They had to let me go. Me, Richard Tarkowski, whose works were recognised across the continent, whose imagination, as they said, knew no bounds, whose very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrat. To them, I was just a liability, a source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend. And so I sought him out. I knew his wife had died some months earlier. At the time, I thought it best not to interfere with his grieving. And so now, I feared that he'd hold it against me for not being there when he needed me the most. Instead, he offered me a home. <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty shitty of you, man. Be playing with dolls. Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me. Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Uh huh. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, have a ribbon. Wow, thanks. Mmm. He killed her. No, I didn't mean to. Oh, God. What have I done? It feels cold. What have you done? Killed her? Oh shit, look at that giant hand in the background. Is that Richard? That is a giant hand. And a slightly smaller hand to go with it. Also, the wheelchair moved. <clears throat> Sit in it. Go on. I had never felt anything so desperate. Yeah. He wanted to show me something. A giant hand. <gasps> Who's this guy? Thomas? Fucking damn it! A free mount. <laughs> totally. Spend the rest of the game rolling about in a wheelchair. 
Is this Thomas? I I could protect her. No, this can't be Thomas. What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. Maybe it is Thomas. What? <clears throat> yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's got to be something around. <coughs> I feel like Thomas should be older. You want? decided to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise okay, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on yes huh. I can feel it okay it's around here somewhere oh well, it's real fucking specific Hey, I'm trying to help here. You know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. Screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? This game just got real interesting. I kind of wish I was playing as this guy. What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? Like he's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. He is Thomas. He must be. anyone but ourselves keep it together think what do we do now we wait and when he comes back oh just whoa 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 easy tiger remember what's at stake here just let me do what you better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will. 
kill him. So many implications from that cutscene. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... Forced myself to look through it. <laughs> cover to cover. Every single fucking page! <laughs> Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a sting inside of me. Shut up. Ah! Oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. Can he possess people? Wow, this game just ramped it up like a whole bunch of notches. Everyone has a stand. I think the way it works... <clears throat> you know when we go into the spirit world? Oh shit. I'll explain my theory once we're done with these million cutscenes. They're all pretty good. This cancer will spread far enough. Time to cut it out. Oh, we get to play as this guy! Okay, so, <clears throat> you know how when we go into the spirit world, it's like we can see ourselves in the corporeal world and the spirit world? Everyone can't do it, it's only special people, it's only special people, but Thomas could clearly do it, <clears throat> but it seems like maybe if you do it long enough, your spirit self becomes independent. It might not be like if you do it long enough. There might be something else. But your spirit self can clearly become independent from your real self. Which is really, really cool. Also, we get to play as this guy, which I wanted. So that's really cool as well. Also, Thomas thought he was just going to kill that guy. But then the guy started going, let me out. And Thomas was like, let me in. What is that all about?
I just don't know. But I love it, whatever it is. It's piling mystery upon mystery, intrigue upon intrigue. She's the medium, he's well done. You wonder who's the rare. <laughs> A good question. All right, Richard. This is your world. Show me what you're hiding. Very, very cool. <clears throat> but I'm going to end it there for today. I feel like that's a good, good breaking off point. It's 11 p.m. I've got a very important day of work tomorrow. But we'll be playing this again tomorrow for sure. It's an absolutely fascinating game. And it's just starting to ramp up. Really, really cool. So, tomorrow, we'll continue. And, uh... Hopefully not get some answers. I like the theorizing. Once you get the answers, it's like, oh, I see. But if you don't get the answers, whew, pretty cool. I like the theorizing. I like the mystery. And I really like that that guy's spirit body is a separate entity from himself. <clears throat> That's crazy good. <coughs> but I'm going to head off. I will catch you guys later. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.